woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? So you're an alchemist, then. Yes, yes, goodbye. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? This place is... Thank you. I'll be sure to get Elgrim to examine this as soon as his... <clears throat> busy schedule allows. Here, I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Don't forget us if you... Thanks again for... Take a look. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. Take a look at my supplies if you must. Let's hear it. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients. Yes, yes. I've got goodbye. your back. How can I serve you, my Thane? have it so you're interested in my potions and ingredients Yes, goodbye.
Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Mara is the handmaiden of Kine, the goddess of the storm and the mother of men. She is the bearer of love and the patron of marriage. If you wish to make a donation to her benevolence, speak to Maramal and ensure your true love will endure for all eternity. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all hmm? may see. This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Maramal. All right, then. Pilgrimage is complete. I can feel it. I felt a caress on my cheek some time ago. I thought it to be a trick of the wind, but I think it was a message from my father. We've made peace with one another without even uttering a single word. And I'm content for the first time in my life. I thank you. Here. Please, accept this as a token of my appreciation for your selfless action. Please, come back and speak to me anytime. Come here a second. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just wanted to let you know. I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit made me feel alive. Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead, just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. Come find me if you need more marksman training. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Know what I mean? 
Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh wait, it gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day, just not today. Maybe I'll see you around the hills. Interest you in some marksman training. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, Laugh. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Oh, uh, no. Nothing like that. You're calling on her for business. That's between you and Maven, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet, Lark. Maven wants to see you right away. I suggest you head right over. Maven wants to see you right away. I suggest you head right over. Don't be troubling, yeah? I'll listen. This kind of work suits you, but it's going to end up making you rich. All right. Anything in particular strike your fancy? This business is a regular target for the guild. They keep pretty shoddy records, so the job should be a cinch. You in? Good. Here's your assignment. Hey, sorry. I just get jealous when I hear rumors about you. That's all they are. Pull up a seat. Have a drink. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do.
So, what could I do for you today? So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Steal anything worth talking about? Here's your gold. Try not to spend it all in one place. Good. We could use the coin. We've been trying to get this item for a while, but no one with the skills has come along to claim it. Can I count on you to get it? Here you go. Hope you don't muck it up. I have work if you've got... Ready for some work, or are you just gonna... I bet you are. Which one do you want? As long as you can keep things quiet and don't get yourself killed in the process, this place has exactly what we're looking for. You in? Here, just don't make me look like an ass in front of the guild and mess it up. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. Oh, you're back. No doubt about it. Thieves Guild is back. I'm right back. As you wish, my fame. We heading out? As you command, my fame. Hey, you mix potions, right? Can you brew me an ale? is to smile at your passing, friend. 
Just get so out of here. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. You're a firebrand, aren't you? It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild over there. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabion get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that vial he calls mead to market, and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Exactly. With Savion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. Never seen me all this upset about anything. The city hmm? really gets. Uh, sorry, just thinking about my experiments. I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients. Some of which are almost irreplaceable. To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Nernroot is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last, we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. Beautiful 
My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. What brings you to Balaman today? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. As Yar Leila's house car, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. Well done. Your continued efforts have been of great benefit to the people of Riften. Allow me to present you with this compensation for your selfless efforts. With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Between you and I, I think his motivations are a bit more self-serving. He uses this holy war as leverage in order to pursue the throne. If he were to be crowned High King, I'm not so certain it would be the Golden Age his followers expect. Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd visit us again. I've been informed by my steward that you've made quite an impression in the Rift. Several of our citizens have expressed their admiration. Much like Miol, you've become champion of our hold, helping people with their difficulties and providing assistance for their needs. As the Jarl of Riften, I feel it's my duty to honor your selfless behavior by honoring you with the title Thane of Riften. Before I can present you with the title, there's but a single requirement you must fulfill. A Thane of Riften is expected to maintain permanent residence within the city walls. My steward has such a home available to you for purchase. I think you'll find the accommodations to be most pleasing. When the house is yours, return to me and I will present you the title. Good journey to you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Splendid! There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now... What would you like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase?
Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Then allow me to officially welcome you to Riften. You'll make a fine addition to our city. All that remains now is to bestow the title upon you. I should be the one thanking you. You've solved more problems in the short time you've been here than anyone in my court has their entire careers. You've been a beacon of hope in these dark times for my people, and I will never forget it. Therefore, by my authority as Jarl, I pronounce you Thane of Riften and award you all the benefits befitting your station. Congratulations. Good journey to you. As Yar Layla's house guard, I would ask that you maintain respectable distance from her at all times. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort. How can the humble Riften. servant of Talos help you today? He's the protector of man, the dragon of the north, the patron of all Nords. And despite the Imperials and their treaty, he will always be one of the nine divines. A devout Nord would rather fall in battle and have his blood spill upon the earth than allow the Empire to strike his name from the divinity. Talos is part of our culture. He's part of our heritage and our tradition. He's Skyrim personified. To suddenly have all that wrenched away is like losing someone you hold dearly in your heart. The Empire already took my daughter from us, but by Talos, they will not take our homeland. I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer to one day tend the shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the White Gold Concordat, she ran off to join the Stormcloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? She died out there, only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. Talos guide you. Interest you in some marksman training. Shall be troubling ya. Yeah? And here's the spoils. Bloody more where this came from. Bloody good timing. Just got some more clients. Yeah, sure. Got a business on tap that could use a little number rearranging. What do you say? 
Nice. Here, this is what you need to know. Welcome to the cozy little family. One of the lookouts for the guild. I watched Delvin's back. I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? I'll head back home if you need me. Honor to you, my Thane. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Let's not waste any time. Let's get our new companion some armor. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some beef. You're home. Can I get a few gold to spend? Please? Really? 
What do you get me? Oh, stop teasing me. That big tree in the park looks so... What is it? What is it? I'm still here. Lead on, then. We've stopped. What is it? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's go. Say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. What do you need, my Thane? Braith is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. Papa! I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. You're someone who can get got some good pieces, the finest weapons and armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I don't claim to. 
the finest weapons and armor. Mm-hmm. What are you looking at? I'm not a... Boys, girls, dogs, elders. There's nobody... Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reef. I help my father. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. You think all. Take a look. You've got small looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Good doing business with you. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Get going. Lead on then. Got some good pieces out here. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Hmm? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I'm still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens.
feed on them.